Doggies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kessler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. Today's question comes from Ken, Victor Echo 7, Zulu Yankee in Canada. Uh, he says he's getting back on the air after a lengthy absence. Now live in a townhouse, okay. He has permission to use the roof which is about 60 feet by 150 feet. That's the whole roof, not just the uh, his particular unit. Providing the antenna can't be seen. Each unit has skylights. That limits the routing and mass position. So I have to keep it completely unseen. That's rough. Um, one way you can do that is with thin wire, like 16 gauge or something. Um, my first priority is 80 meters. Hmm. That's going to be rough because you've got an antenna that's uh, uh, half wave antenna is 132 feet long, um, 120 to 132 feet long, depending on what part you put it on. So I've installed a half wave dipole, number 16 insulated solid copper wire, fed with RG8X coax to a one to one balance. I'm having lots of problems tuning it. Yes, I would imagine so. You are right on top of that metal roof and it's not going to want to tune. Having lots of problems tuning it, suspected coupling to the metal flashing that runs parallel to it about three feet away. Yes it is. I try to maximize that distance. So you need to maximize it out to about 20 to 40 feet if you can do that. Um, intrigued by the possibility of a full wave length 40 meter horizontal antenna. The, I had one of those uh, for quite a while. Uh, it's called a Skyloop and it's uh, um, run anywhere from 20 to 40 feet in the air fed with ladder line and then a ballon or just put the ballon right at the uh, feed point. I can only use coax open wire feed line would be too hard to get into the shack. You can put your ballon outside the shack but you're going to need a ballon in there. A 2 to 1 ballon at the feed point actually I'd look more at like a an 8 or 9 to 1 ballon. Um, can make the transmitter happy with a tuner but what about the mismatch between the coax and the antenna at the non-resonant frequencies? That's why you put the ballon at the antenna. Um, crazy idea you said with using the flashing as an antenna. Uh, yeah, but you'd probably have lots of RF problems in adjacent units. Um, for your consideration, I'm going to suggest some different ideas. Let me get this camera up here running. Um, there are things called hamsticks. And you can, you've got your, your roof, which is metal flashing. Okay, so I'm assuming like a copper roof or something like that. Um, if you want to keep it unseen from the street, you can put a hamstick antenna like right there at the end. Now the hamsticks are quite short. They're about eight feet long and you can put one in and then with a, a base that is grounded or connected to the flashing so this is a quarter wave vertical. And when I say eight, that's because it's got a loading coil on the thing. Now you can tune it for the part of 80 meters you want by moving the stinger in and out. Um, it's a black piece that's hollow and you move the stinger in and out of it to tune it and the tuning coil, uh, the loading coil is in the base. That's how it's only eight feet long. You can get these for just about any band and you can put one up like this and you've got um, actually on your chosen frequency and you're going to have very very narrow bandwidth only five or six or maybe ten or fifteen kilohertz okay but you can put it on your favorite net. Um, you can tweak it slightly with a tuner but not much. Uh, this right here will act as a very good antenna on the narrow bandwidth that it's set up for. Okay. The other opportunity that you could do is up maybe on a short mast like one or two feet a mag loop antenna the mag loops are three feet in diameter 
okay they broadcast off the ends more than from the center so you'll want to position it where it does the best or you can position it horizontally okay and then you have unidirectional uh, radiation this only needs to be a few feet up in the air above this and won't be visible from the street now there's an MFJ one that you can tune from your shack um, and the mounting post that you put this on you'll want to run something down to ground to get off the uh, electrostatic charges uh, I have one of these it works works well actually it works as well as a dipole but again now here unlike the ham stick which is stuck once you tune it on that one band you can change the tuning on this to a new frequency there are other companies that make these too I'll think of it in a while there's um, a company up in Sparks, Nevada that makes them uh, you want the one with the tuner where you can tune it from in the shack and you want one that will take uh, 100 watts the MFJ one that's remotely tuned will take 100 watts there are two one for the lower frequencies and one for the upper and I'm not sure that the lower goes all the way down to 80 meters I don't think it does uh, but look around you may be able to find one that's nice now another option I'll give you one final option here and that's what's called a screwdriver it is got a base here with loading coil okay and it has a stinger sticking out and it can you can get these variety of sizes but since they're designed as mobile antennas they're only about eight feet tall again not visible from the from the roof or only the little top is and nobody will know what it is this thing has a little stepper motor in it that turns this thing it's threaded rod turns the, through a screw to make that thing go up or down and you can get it on any and again you can tune it to any frequency you want now again you want a remote controller for it and there are many different types of remote controllers screwdrivers you tend to buy piece parts um, but you want a controller to give you the least hassle that uses a stepper motor that can remember settings so you can go back to frequencies that you want to try now these all follow the requirement of being uh, below the roof now I realize that the dipole is the cheapest way but you try laying a dipole on this you are essentially laying the dipole on the ground and it's just not going to work and you're just not going to be able to tune it uh, it's just not going to work for it so um, you know and you can try other things you can try uh, if there's some say some you're in Canada there could be some trees back here or something just get a number 16 black wire out to the back and do an end fed uh, that will work also uh, but I, I don't know what this situation is over here so I hope that helps uh, good luck to you and uh, uh, so there you have it. If you would like to support this channel financially, you may do so by going to dkessler.com slash support. And until we next meet, 73.